afternoon. Please, don't make yourself comfortable. Something tells me we'll be leaving shortly. What do you mean? Come on, Mr. Merlin. You don't have to be a mage to figure out why I'm here. You're awfully quiet. I'll give you a clue. It's about your involvement in the murder of Mr. St. Clair. How can you be so certain I'm involved? <laughs> I can't remember how it goes. It's... He... He points the gun and then he... No, I'm blanking. I'm... So he... Right, well... I'm gonna check my notes then. Oh, I... Am I sure I... No, it's... Right, well, it's not in there, is it? Me? Oh, no. This has been my binoculars. Why are they... Did I use it as a page marker or something, or...? No, why would I do that anyway? It's... Ugh. I lost it, didn't I? Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. I'm... I mean, come on, I'm so close to the end anyway, it's like... I'm sure I can just... It's not that hard. You see, your uncle was close friends with the victim's cousin-in-law, and he said that the victim's brother had close ties with the mother's daughter who had an affair with the cousin of the Mafia member's... No, it was the brother of the Mafia member's daughter. And that means that you... No, wait. Your sister's cousin's daughter-in-law had close connections with the... with the victim's... auntie who did claim that you may or may not have been available. At, wait, no, she didn't. No, that's not it either. It's, it's brilliant. Great. It's not coming back to me, isn't it? I'm gonna have to rewrite all my notes again, aren't I? For God's sake, I promised it'd be done by the end of the week too. Thanks, boss. That's my daily dose of stupidity right there. Brilliant. Great. What on earth is that garbage all about? Well, alright then. You want some unfinished rushed garbage? You'll get some unfinished rushed garbage. Let's see. It's just like... How can you be so certain I'm involved? <laughs> Ah, Mr. Merlin, you amuse me. You think I have evidence? I had no witnesses, nor did I have any clues to work with. Look, let me be perfectly frank. My client does not care for means or motive or opportunity. All they want is someone to pin the crime on. Someone to take the blame. And you, my friend... Well, you have been unfortunate enough to be in the wrong place in the wrong time. Now, it's time to say goodbye. There, I hope you're happy. You got your rushed, badly done, poorly put together ending. There. Time to get this to the office then.
fans are going to hate it. I can't do that to them. I can't. Evidence? Uh, I was... I know, I was kind of hoping you'd give me some. What? Come on, confess! Why would I do that? It says so here in the script. What script? The one that doesn't exist. Ah. Uh, of course. So will you confess? No. Darn it! Please? I said no! with an entirely new good ending in two days. Maybe if I made the... No, I'm not. All right, let's just experiment with stuff. How can you be so certain I'm involved? Well, I'm glad you asked. This was a fascinating case. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, you see... Um, as I was saying, it was a very fascinating case. Really now? Yes, you see... Darn it, he got... No way! Probably not. Should I call someone? I don't think that'll work. Why not? Well, for one, you only exist within my... Ah, never mind, I'll worry about that later. You're very cryptic. Look, do you know why the son committed the crime? How do you know about that? Do you? No! Of course you don't. Why did I expect that to work? Explain yourself. I need to finish this book. But I can't find a motive for the crime. Well, from my experience, it's often about the money. You think he killed him for the heritage? Sure. <laughs> That's far too simple. Why does it have to be so complicated? Let me paint a picture for you, Mr. Mernon. Let's imagine a rich father paranoid that his children are going to misuse the money he spent his lifetime gaining. So what does he do as a final F you? Well, he writes them off his will, of course, meaning that all of his money goes off to this one illegitimate child who happens to be going through quite a few financial problems. That child is you, is it not, Mr. Merlin? I'm pretty sure if we analyse that bayonet of yours we'd find some very interesting information. Let's face it, Mr. Merlin. You're going away for a long time. Now, put your hands where I can see them.